Okay, we are now joined by the driver of the number 78 5 Hour Energy Bass Pro Shops Toyota for Furniture Row Racing, Martin Truex Jr. Martin, you're a New Jersey native, obviously pretty close to Delaware here. Um, this is essentially a home track for you. What kind of boost do you get as a driver being able to race on your home turf? Well, I guess it's more than it's one of my home tracks, right? Everybody, everybody says I have a lot of home tracks. So, uh, you know, honestly, just uh, always look forward to coming up here. I have a lot of memories um, coming to this racetrack, a lot of really, really good memories, a lot of success, a lot of special times, and just, um, you know, it's definitely uh, one of those places I really enjoy coming to. So love the racetrack, love the part of the country, and uh, looking forward to hopefully having a great weekend. You know, as you alluded to there, this has historically been a strong track for you and your team. Obviously, you got your first victory uh, here in 2007. You guys won here uh, last fall. What is it about Dover that suits you and your Furniture Road team so well as of late? And can you replicate that this weekend? Well, I think for me personally, I just, um, early, you know, the first time I came here, I fell in love with the track. And I think anytime you like a place, it, you, you tend to understand it better and be and, and are able to just figure it out a little bit quicker so I guess coming up through the ranks figuring out the feel that I needed at this racetrack and what it took to be successful is is something that I've carried through all the teams I've raced for and, and all the series I've raced in here so um been able to use you know use use that throughout the years to be successful and I feel like the numbers don't even show you know really the success that we've had at this track I've had so many really good races end in heartbreak here and um of course, we've won a few along the way as well. So it's um, it's not been um, stats-wise, I guess. Yeah, I don't even know if it's my best track, but definitely uh, performance-wise, I think it's it's up there with one of our best. Okay, we'll open things up to the floor. Start there. John Small with Philadelphia da Daily News. Martin, uh, uh, can you split, you know, be coming in now as, as – the, the reigning champion is there a difference being the hunted instead of the hunter i mean is there something you could feel about that yeah i don't i don't really think it's a whole lot different i think that um i'd say our sport probably changes more week to week than it does year to year and, you know and so we've had you know four tough races in a row right now and, and we're ninth in points so i mean you're only as good as your last race so they say and you know right now i wouldn't say we're the hunted i say we're we're the hunters so you know just trying to get back on track and get to where we need to go and um you know for us i think we we always tend to focus on our own pro program more than anything else and i think i'd say most of the garage is the same way um you know i think the championship was last year and it's um it's time to turn the page and try to do it again right now all right we'll go up front to claire claire b lang sirius xm nascar radio what have been your personal challenges about racing at this racetrack from the first time you experienced Dover to how you improve while you're here? We look at Jimmy Johnson with so many wins here. Certainly is a really challenging track. Oh, absolutely. It's it's very challenging. One of the most challenging on the circuit just from a standpoint of, uh, you know, how, how it can bite you, how hard you have to attack all the time. And, um, you know, the consequences when you mess up are pretty bad here. So, uh, it's definitely a difficult track in that mindset. Um, you know, for me coming here initially, it took a lot to, it took a while to get up the nerve to get to where I needed to make the car. You know, it was like, okay, I keep going, driving harder and harder and harder, and the car still wants me to go faster, you know. So once you figure that out um, from there, it's really all just about through the years, adapting to, you know, changing race cars, changing rules, tires, changing um, the track, changing as it, as it ages, and just continuing to try to, you know, stay on top of all those things, I think is the biggest challenge now. Um, but certainly in the race, 400 laps here is is uh, is quite a challenge as well. So that's something you need to keep up with. And do you feel the speed at this track? It's really fast for the size of track that it is. Yeah, it definitely feels really fast. I think that, um, you know, as far as the feeling of speed, definitely one of the highest on circuit. Um, you know, I think for me personally, I would say Bristol probably feels the fastest. Um, and this one's probably top two or three. Or go to Caleb next. Whistler kicking the tires dot net. How difficult is it for you as a driver sitting there waiting for your car to pass inspection due to the uh, strict eye on inspection and the splitter? Well, I wouldn't say it's a strict eye. I would say it's, uh, you know, it seems like every week they pick out something new that they're going to, um, you know, change the way that they measure or 
change the way that they interpret the rules and um you know it becomes as a big surprise as, as we've seen in the garage today you know nobody was really prepared for that because it's not how they've done it for the you know rest of the season leading up to here so um that's just that's all it is it's a surprise it's it's a, they change something and and all you know we're supposed to be able to i guess um know it's coming have esp or something i'll go through the front Matt Pensick, uh, WBOC TV. You know, Martin, you've had success at the end of races. You've also had success uh, qualifying in your starting position. What do you attribute to your ability to start up front or near up front? Uh, I think just a good understanding of the racetrack, a comfort level here, and then great race cars. You know, you can't you can't do any of this without uh, great team and great great equipment, cars, and so uh, you know our team's done a really good job over the years, especially here the last couple of years of just. Uh, being prepared when we show up at the racetrack to qualify, um, being prepared to qualify well and having a good game plan. Today was, uh, you know, today was definitely not um, not ideal as far as, you know, only making three laps of practice. Um, I'd say we, the car was, was close, but not where we needed to be to go for the pole. So hopefully we'll make the right adjustments here and, uh, and get after them this afternoon. Any more questions for Martin? Go to Lee up here. You have catwalk for a cause coming up in a couple of weeks. That event, it just gets bigger and bigger each year. Can you kind of reflect on it and talk about what you expect for this season? Well, I expect it to be uh, another great event. We've been very busy. Everybody's been busy preparing for it and um, getting things together. We uh, we had all the, all the drivers and the kids together last week at Rescue Ranch. Um, we were painting and uh, planting plants just to, you know, break the ice, let everybody get to know each other, make everybody comfortable with each other. So that was good. It was a fun little night, and uh, everybody had a good time. And, um, you know, looking forward to it. It's become such a big event over the years. Uh, it's amazing just to think at, um, how it started and where it is now. So uh, we've got some exciting things happening, and, um, yeah, it's going to be big. So everybody's kind of – this is the last, you know, two weeks preparing and everybody's a little nervous and things are coming together quickly. But everybody's done a great job, all of our sponsors, um, everybody that works for the foundation's done a great job and looking forward to uh, hopefully raising a lot of money for the kids. All right. Any more questions for Martin? Thank you. All right. Thanks, Martin.